Good afternoon, I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. A research group is seeing a rise in new COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. Latest data from the UP Okta research show that the reproduction rate of the virus in NCR grew from 0.9 at the start of the month to 0.99 today. The reproduction number refers to the rate by which COVID-19 spreads. In a text message sent to One News, Professor Guido David says they're expecting the rate to go over 1.0 on Monday. David explains that a rate higher than 1 means that the number of new infections is increasing. The number of COVID-19 cases in the country is approaching the 450,000 mark. This is after the health department reported over 1,000 new infections, pushing the active case count to nearly 22,000. Three more patients died of the disease in the last 24 hours, bringing the nationwide death toll to more than 8,700. This is the lowest increase in COVID-19 deaths in nearly five months. Meanwhile, some 418,000 have gotten better from the disease after no over 9,000 new recoveries were reported today. Moving over to our other Asian neighbors, both South Korea and Japan set single-day records of new infections. South Korea reported 1,030 fresh cases, exceeding the country's late February peak of 909. Meanwhile, Japan's new infections exceeded 3,000, more than 600 of which were recorded in the country's capital of Tokyo. The United Nations is urging global leaders to declare states of cl climate emergency in the wake of global warming. Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez calls for steeper cuts in emissions on the fifth anniversary of the Paris Climate Accord. Gutierrez adds that economic recovery packages for COVID-19 represent a chance for a transition to a low-carbon future. We cannot use these resources to lock in policies that burden future generations. The central objective of the United Nations for 2021 is to build a truly global coalition for carbon neutrality by the middle of the century. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao. We are One News.